Chelsea, you get an away draw at Brentford, but oh. there's more unhappiness, Jules, as Pochettino gets booed. Todd Bowley gets called something that uh, rhymes with runt. Um, <laughs> do you get why the fans are so unhappy? Pochettino came out afterwards like, oh, I know the fans don't like me. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I mean, the 11th in the table. Again, the lack of consistency was so obvious in the game. Where the back three? You didn't like that brilliant no, sudden but the first half was the first half was good. I think this suits Chilwell and Gusto. You, and you don't change to a back three in well, you, no, but, you've never played before. No, I know, but maybe he wanted to mirror what Brentford was doing. I don't, I don't know. I mean, Just mirror this. Come on, man. No, no, like, no. But I mean, I didn't say I like it or not. I just said that that suits Chilwell and Gusto um, too. But that first half was decent. And after that, they just collapsed completely, almost if they were not ready or also, expecting what Brentford would do in the second half, which was always going to be much better than what they did in the first half because they were so bad in the first half. Also, Nico Jackson, stop shushing the crowd. Right, those are the people who pay your salary. Do not, do especially that. after missing that big chance on, at nil nil before the header. Uh, but I think it's a, it would be a, a very long end of the season for Chelsea. That's for sure. Tottenham come from behind against Crystal Palace late in the game to win three one as Timo Werner scores his first goal uh, in this in this second Premier League team, the first one for for Spurs. You impressed um, with Timo Werner? Well, I'm right. impressed. He was with not Spurs good for seventy minutes. Back. Yeah. But no, but he's not good. Like, like a guy's not going to finish, but he keeps working and working yeah, and working. That's what we you said when he signed. You have to learn to love him for that. Just don't expect him to finish. You have other guys, hopefully, who can finish in this team. Well, other guy, Hung Min Son. Henry Charleston. Great Romero goal as well. But it was good. You go a goal down on, on, a, free, on, on free kick and just kick, they just keep going. Yeah. Aston Villa make life difficult for themselves against Luton Jewels oh. before your boy Luca Dean bags the late three pointer. Yeah, I mean, they were cruising. Two goals from Watkins, who's been so, so good this season. And then in the second half, they let Luton come back into the game twice to draw 2 2. And then it looked like they were going to drop points. And then Luca Dean, of all people as well, to score that winner in the 90th yeah, minute. Luca Dean, who's, the, you know, the, 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 who's the, like the, four foot three. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. Uh, who had an argument with Unai Emery the weekend before on the bench. This time he's the hero. Um, I, it's good to keep that momentum going for fourth place. I'll say this about Luton. I know when people talk about kind of blood and thunder and guts and belief and motivation, this is a team that has really, really poor individual players. But those guys, or, or players who certainly are regarded that way, right? Yeah. If I ask you who's their most technical player, you would probably say Barkley yeah. followed by Townsend, right? Yeah, but, um, which is which is scary, right? Townsend, who didn't play, even play football for six months. Yeah. And yet, first of all, they show that they're technically better than some people thought yeah. they were. And secondly, there is something to this motivation, to this is. collective, to this yeah, never say for die. Sure. For sure. They're, 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 they're well set up on the pitch and they just never go away. Yeah, they're like yeah, yeah. those nasty rashes. No, well yeah. done. I, I kinda, I'm kind of rooting for them to stay up. I didn't think I'd say this, but I am kind of okay, okay. rooting for them to stay up a little bit. I'm not. Newcastle beat up Wolves 3 nail Jules. One defeat in the last eight for Eddie Howe. Could they make a late charge back into Europe? Maybe some of the injured guys coming back? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe I was super disappointed by Wolves, I have to say, because of the momentum they had. We said that they won. Uh, they shot their in the load FA in midweek. Well. Come on, man. Like against Brighton in the FA Cup, right? Yeah, it's but. Tired. I know, I know, but still, still, I thought it was disappointing. Good performance from Newcastle, the kind of ones that we haven't seen enough this season. I just don't know. How consistency that because even in those last eight, you said just one defeat, but it hasn't been perfect by far. So I think they will always be there because one thing about them, they never give up again. But I just don't know how high they can go. There's a lot of teams above them, to be fair. Jules, we keep praising Roberto de Zerbi, but Brighton were terrible against Fulham, losing 3 0. Are you going to give him a pass for the injuries and inexperience? Or are you going to start holding, holding him to account? Know. It's happening a lot this season, though. So I can understand that the injuries. A bit the same for Ten Hag, the same for Klopp, the same for Eddie Howe. Okay, I, I understand, I get it. Not the same for Guardiola. Not no. the same for Unai Emery. No, no, that's some, some have had less. Arsenal. Yeah, some have had less. Do they just have better doctors some. or are they just lucky? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a bit of both. I'm not sure. But it's happened a lot, those kind of collapse completely where you don't show up at all for a game. And I don't think this is good. Maybe they were already thinking about Roma on Thursday, which I understand is maybe the biggest game that they've had this season, maybe, but this is not good. You, it's not good for your club. It's not a good image that you're sending. I I would not be happy if I was the Zerbi, the players, the staff, the fans, the club, anybody. I don't think it's happy. any good. Did, did, did you no, see but him? Like, he, had, he had this moment. I don't know, but why is he doing it? Because, he ha again, it happens too often this season. 
there's a there's a video of him and he's got his like hoodie on and he kind of like pulls his hoodie up over his face and he's like kind of emotes. Yeah, no, you could tell he's you, you could tell he's yeah. he's angry. Look, this is this a lot of this is very new. It's very new to a lot of the players. The injuries have have really hurt them a lot. No, for sure. Maybe he's rotated too much, being involved. You know, they went deep into the in, into the FA Cup, of course, before getting knocked out. It was obviously knock on effect from Wolves. But they better be up for it against uh, uh, against Roma. Massively. Yeah.